I think you don't choose art. Art chooses you and it bribes you with lots of joy, confidence and being in a state of flow. And um, all these things become addictive and you become an artist. But art is also scary. It opens up all these deep wounds of insecurities, lots of failed attempts, rejections that come in, and this roller coaster ride of emotions that ideas can take you on. These ideas would seem phenomenal one moment and completely useless the next. Art also forces you to be introspective, which can be unsettling and quite painful at times. But in all this chaos, art gives us the beauty of stillness. Hi, I'm Satyavani Pippala Akula. I'm a painter, avid sketcher, dancer, and sometimes I like to write poetry and sculpt. Life is beautiful. There are lots of magical moments that happen throughout the day and they distract me. They distract me like a lover seeking attention. It could be the light on the dirty dishes in my sink. It could be the texture of the trees, the squirrel basking in the sun, the very soft, quiet reflections on the snow, the tender greens of spring, my children, a ride in the metro, Michelangelo's David, or my gods and goddesses in temples. Blooming flowers, cascading waterfalls, all these moments, whether small or big, excite me. They invite me to sketch them, capture them as my memories. And some of these sketches blossom and bloom into paintings. I love painting portraits. We're all walking stories and our faces reflect that. But then we are also good at wearing invisible masks, hiding our real stories, our pain, our sorrow, our guilt, our shame. When you paint a portrait from life, there will be moments when both the painter and the painted trust each other, become vulnerable, and there is an honest, unspoken connection that happens. Everything related to the body vanishes. Nationality, race, gender, beauty, and what remains is something that is sublime. Dance is fun. It keeps me connected to my culture, my tradition. It helps me experience joy in every part of my body and in turn pass on that experience to others. Some experiences are best expressed in words and those become poems. And some poems take shape as sculptures. That's why I create. But above all, I create because I can and I must. It's like breathing for me. I cannot stop it and it keeps me alive.
Yeah.